Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are checking out Jenny covered by Gerard T. Rexford of Hallstar's English Armis. Now, I'm excited to get into this. I hope you are all as well. We got to hear some of Gerard's voice in the group debut song, Bloodhounds, that I reacted to just shortly before. So please check that out if you haven't. But here we're going to check out just his individual cover that he released with his debut. So I'm ready to jump on in. I hope you are all as well. Let's hit play. And three, two, one, play. Ooh, I like the vibe here. Okay. Okay. I really like his voice. But it is hard to hear him past the instrumentation a little bit because we have this heavy hitting bass tonalities from the instrumentation, the percussives. Um, it is a little hard to get the entirety of his vocal track, but obviously we can make out his demeanor and his inflections. And I love how he's presenting his voice here, though I am hoping to get a little more of it, a little, maybe a little cleaner vocal track or uh, just louder, really. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. Very heavy on the synths. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, I like the song choice. I, I do like how the song choice. I haven't heard the song before, but I, I like the, the bass, the impact. It's a very impactful debut cover to have. I just want to hear more of his voice. It's kind of like, it's a little bit hard for me to make out all of his voice um, past the instrumentation. <laughs> so I, I, I want it to be mixed a little louder. We might get that uh, towards the second half of the cover here. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> Nice. Nice. So he was he was coming in into this like more nasal tonality there, and then he added that rasp and that for he, he like expelled air out in that nasal tonality. So it added this um aggression into the voice there. Right there. Nice. All right, going back into that instrumental dominant section synth rise nice i like that instrumental if this instrumental is right up my alley i just wish it was a little less dominant but we got some really nice segments from his vocals there earlier All right. Oh, I like that. I like that little breathy interjection. There. It wasn't really an interjection. It's just we got it again. Just a breathy, a whisper. Okay. Ooh. We got more of that growl and the rasp in there. That was really nice. I want more of that. Okay. Well, that was Jenny <laughs> covered by Gerard T. Rexford. Very short cover. Um, it's just barely, uh, well, I mean, it's two and two and one third minutes. Um, so I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot, but I have a few little nitpicks on the mix side of things. I, I and I, you know, I, I said it before, um, I just, I want his voice raised a little bit. Get his voice more in the, the get his voice higher in the mix. He's the talent. You got to show him off. He's got an awesome voice here. And I, I love the way he played around with that. You know, he, he 
went into his nasal tonality and then added that rasp in, which it, it was a very nice transition to have because it, it kind of creates, it forms that two-step progression, right? Just from the relatively clean to the relatively like, or well, relatively clean to like that growl and rasp progression. You know, it, it, it adds that intermediary uh, nasal tonality. So you have, you, you add more complexity by having three steps instead of two in that comparison you have um so you know it adds that progression it adds dy that dynamic which makes a, a cover that's only like two minutes uh two and one third minutes it makes it more full it makes it more dynamic it puts more into that cover even when it might be relatively short so awesome awesome vocal work there on gerard's part um but yeah just uh for the mix the i mean this is one of those songs definitely where you know you can tell it's a very instrumental dominant you can tell from the bass tonalities the way that synth bass just pummels through the instrumentation you, you can tell it's a very a synth dominant very instrumental dominant but uh since we are doing a vt recover i would have liked to see more of the vocal peeking through that but nonetheless i mean it made an impact it was still an awesome song choice because it is so impactful and unique and it lets him show off a couple different aspects of his voice right he gets to embrace those clean uh tonalities he gets to get breathy he gets to add that rasp and aggression he gets to even uh close in on nearly a scream there i mean we got quite a lot from gerard's voice here so awesome song choice there i'm very very impressed i'm very happy with uh, what I'm hearing from these Armas guys. And I hope I get to hear more from Gerard and the others as well. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below. Aside from that, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.